Hey everybody, it's Eric from Cycron.com, the Cypress Chronicle, and we're here in beautiful Long Beach, California to attend the 2013 Long Beach Comic and Horror Con. We're going to talk to cosplayers, we're going to talk to exhibitors, we're going to go around and just enjoy the overall excitement and nerdy and geeky things that this place has to offer. So why don't you come along, we'll have a good time. All right, I'm here with Arrow and Black Canary. We're going to be asking you guys a couple questions about the cosplaying experience. So my first question has to be, how long have you been cosplaying? Um, I've been cosplaying for about two years now, actually, almost, and I absolutely adore it. And you, Arrow? About two years as well. Two years, awesome. So um, uh, going back to cosplaying, what exactly is it that drives you to cosplay? Is it maybe something like you love your characters, you love the show Arrow, you love the comic Arrow, or you just love the DC Universe in general? The thing is about finding a character that you kind of relate with. Uh, my first character is actually Captain America, and for me, uh, you know, I'm in the military, so for me it kind of like felt like a perfect fit. Oh, it just fits right in. Yeah? All spangly and heroic and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about you? Um, I really just enjoy being crafty. I've always been a creative person, and I love getting into character, and I'm just that kind of person, I guess. And my first character was Poison Ivy, and that was just so much fun. And, and the cosplay community is really great, and it's just, they just absorb you, and it's just amazing. It can, yeah. You, you can get lost in this world. It's, it's amazing. You don't want to leave. So going back to the crafting part of it, um, how long did it take to make your costume? Um, this canary costume was actually not too bad. I made the uh, bodysuit out of a extra, extra, extra large shirt that I found at Goodwill and I just cut it and I made it. Um, it took about a weekend for me to put everything together. So not too bad. Out of a Goodwill extra large t-shirt. So extra, extra, extra large, three X's. <laughs> so to all those people out there who think that, oh man, I have to spend like $4,000 on a costume because I want to be Iron Man and have a fully functioning walking robotic suit. There's, there, you, there's always options. <laughs> there's always options. How about you, man? How long did it take? Oh, no, actually I did that option. Actually, I cannot make anything. I can't sew. <laughs> I actually just, I've managed to find people that actually built this stuff. I just made the props. That's all I could do. So I got an arrow, painted it. I actually got the arrows themselves, and uh, you know I got a little uh, light up here. So. Uh, oh, that is sweet. Very awesome. Very cool. Things that actually add to it because you have to have something to make yours. Like my shield, I actually painted that myself. So I was happy with when you were Captain America. Yeah. So that way, it's not just you buy everything, but you find things that you can, you know, to make it work. I see Bane looking at us. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hello. Hey, you got me. <laughs> so, in your real life, I, you said you were military. Um, is that what you do nowadays, or what do you do nowadays? Oh, no, correct. I'm still active in the military right now, and I'm actually stationed here for the next year or so. Well, thank you for your service. Well, thank you for your support. And Canary, what do you do? I am a full-time college student, <laughs> so uh, traditional broke college student. So that's why you went to the Goodwill store. Exactly. <laughs> So yeah, going to school, pretty much. That's, that's all I'm doing. All right, this has been John and Stephanie as Black Canary and Arrow. Once again, we'll get more interviews. We'll be right back to you. All right, guys, we're here at the Big Red Comics. We all know them. We love them. They're our local comic book shop in the lovely city of Buena Park, in the Buena Park Mall. I'm here with... Scott Quinn. And... Robert Quinn. Also known as the disembodied head. He was just performing a second ago. That's, that's Hollywood magic you just can't teach. Okay? Right there. <laughs> so guys, uh, you're here at the Long Beach Comic and Horror Con. Do you like this one better so far, or the Long Beach Kamikaze that we... Or uh, the LA Kamikaze we saw you at a few months? Um, Kamikaze was a great show. This is also a great show. A lot of people walking around. Just, it's fun all around. I, I'm not. I, you can't say one's better than the other. Actually, you know what I like about this show? I, the show I like that there are a lot more comic book dealers here. I noticed that. A lot more comic book fans as well. This is really fun. Yeah. I was gonna say I noticed there's not as many as me that just casual fans just looking around. These are actually like hardcore people. They're here for comics. They're here to like you know buy, look around, and interact. And more people that are dressed up. Yes. A lot more, a lot more people in costume this time, which is really pretty awesome. Yeah, um, it, it's it's fun. It's fun to dress up. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get my own costume. I'm having it custom made soon. Oh, what are you going to be? Syndrome from The Incredibles. Oh, that is how perfect. I mean, <laughs> yes, yes. How perfect is that? So, what are, we, are you going to do this for what WonderCon? 
Um, uh, it's either going to be WonderCon or probably Comic-Con. The big daddy of them all. Yeah, and you have to go to that show. Oh, we're going to be there, of course. Are you, are you going to dress up for that one? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be dressed. I'll be dressed. He'll I'll be, be dressed. the thing. I'm going to try to get him to go as the thing or Wilson Fisk. Oh, I like the Wilson Fisk idea. Yeah. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'll do that. I'll even shave my head. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 that's on camera. That's on camera. <laughs> All right, so this is the first time I've personally talked to you guys, so I want to know. This is going to be a weird, hard one. Favorite? I'm going to say, I want to say favorite comic because that's too hard, but how about favorite comic series? Um, probably the original Incredible Hulk series, but back when he became Mr. Fix It, the Gray Hulk. Uh, the Gray Hulk. Grey Hulk series, that's pretty awesome. That is a good one. Marlon was the artist on that run. Just amazing. But well, you know, come on. He was... He was I'm talking he was, over you. I'm talking well, too over bad, you. Too bad. Okay. You can suck it. Okay. All right. He's, come on. He was a mob boss, basically. That, that's how his persona yeah, yeah. was. He had the fedora. I remember. Yeah, this oh, yeah, fedora, fine, the zoot fine, suit, fine, and he was, a, he was a jerk, and he was just really cool. But current, current series, I think Superior Spider-Man is pretty awesome. Okay. All right. A, vi a villain... You know, Doc Ock is now Spider-Man. That's a pretty that's a pretty good series. One of my favorites. That for Marvel, Injustice, Gods Among Us for DC. Oh yeah. I mean they based the video game off it, right? Yeah, but yeah, but the the comic book series is so much better than the actual game. The game is awesome, but this the comic series is amazing. Like, literally, it punches you in the stomach after reading the first book. What is your drink of choice? Well, what did you think it is, you know? It's got to be strong. It's got to be Captain Morgan's. Impervi uh, impervi impervious to this, you know. You got to do Captain Morgan's, though. You got to do the Captain Morgan's stand. <laughs> they're, they're about, oh, sorry there, fellow. He looks kind of scary. That was kind of scary. Thank you very much, but you can. Thank you. I, I, where am I? <laughs> awesome. All right, so there you have it. We're here with Big Red Comic once again. And where can they find you guys? The Buena Park Mall. Right. And on social media? Uh, oh, Facebook. Big Red Comics on Facebook. Awesome. All right, so go and visit them. Thanks again. This is Eric. We are visiting Big Red Comics. We're at Long Beach Comic Con 2013. More to come. The Geeky Mama's Table at the Long Beach 2013 Comic and Horror Con. We are talking to... Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Nice to meet you. We've never met before, ever, ever, ever. Actually, Andrea works at the Buena Park store. That's why we're here visiting them, because they're our local geeky mamas. So, is this your first Long Beach Comic and Horror Con? This is actually our second Long Beach Comic and Horror Con. We were here last year. Oh, awesome. And then, if I remember right, you went to uh, the LA Comic Kazi, right? I personally went, but we did not have a booth there. That's cool, but personally about you, I mean, which one did you like better, or do you like them as equal, or are you just happy to be everywhere that there's anything geeky and nerdy and awesome? You know, I just like going to all conventions, honestly, though Kamikaze is interesting because it's more, I like the panels. Those are fantastic. Which was your favorite? The Grand Theft Auto panel. Ah, oh, we so missed the Grand Theft Auto panel. That's, yeah, well, that's okay. <laughs> you met your heroes from the games and all that. Yes. Yes, I'm quite fond of Trevor. Ah, yes. Trevor. The crazy psychopath we all love. <laughs> so, what are you guys selling here at the, at the store, at the booth? Um, what we specialize in is uh, handcrafted products. So, pretty much everything here is all handcrafted. So, it's made by people, not robots. Oh, I did not know that. So, is that what is in all Geeky Mamas or just the booth today? The interesting thing about our store is that we actually have artists that work with us. So we make the dresses, and then we have lovely artists like these two girls over here that make like the little compacts, and then we have a uh, guy that does stencils and spray paint, so it ranges. Uh, who is your favorite comic book character? Kind of a tie between Deadpool and Nightwing. Well, there's a ton of Deadpools right over there. <laughs> DC or Marvel Universe? I'm really greedy. Yeah, I'm very greedy with my heroes, so I like all of, I just, I'm greedy. More for me. You just like everything there is to do. <laughs> awesome, and then I would be remiss if I didn't ask, you are wearing Attack on Titan. Yes. yes. Uh, one of our, actually several of our staff members are super into Attack on Titan. Uh, what is your infatuation with it and how did you come to like the series? 
you know, it's just so different compared to other anime. To me, honestly, it's not very, like, typical, you know? And I love the animation style. The music is phenomenal, and it's just a different story, so. I mean, giant humanoids that are kind of naked aren't typical. Yeah. See, it's like, it, it's, it's funny how they kind of make it intense with their faces. So I give them props. Giant teeth on the one guy. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Again, this has been uh, the Geeky Mama's Booth right here at 2013 Long Beach Comic and Horror Con. And we were talking with... Andrea. Andrea. All right. Thanks. And we'll be back. All right. We are here interviewing some more cosplayers for suckon.com. And we are with... Jennifer Alvarado. And Derek Chen. And we're going to be asking you guys just some questions, you know, about your cosplay. So, is this your first con, or obviously you look like you guys are seasoned, so... Yeah, I think this is probably like our 10th, Ten? maybe? Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. probably. How about this year? Uh, we're at the end of the season. Oh my goodness. Uh, five? Five. Five, yeah. So, oh, let me count. Kamikaze, WonderCon, Comic-Con, the... Uh, yeah. Cosplay con. Anime? We did not. We did not hit Anime Expo. I missed that. <laughs> so when did you? Uh, excuse me. Uh, is this your favorite costume that you do, or do you do others? Or I am usually Harley Quinn. Um, I'd say this probably is one of my favorites. I'm just always Spider Man. Always Spider Man. Just gotta always love the, spi the Spidey. <laughs> so in your real lives, what do you do? Uh, I when you're not solving crimes or. Killing people, I guess, with Harley Quinn. <laughs> Just as exciting. I set the MSRP on vehicles. That is exciting. What are you talking about? <laughs> and what do you do, man? I'm an automotive technician. Okay. In the field together. Cool. Awesome. Closely related to saving people, you know, jacking up prices. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Perfect. She's a gouger. Um, I guess final question, uh, are you going to be going to any other cons next year or is this going to be it for you or do you plan on doing this into the future, well into the future? Well into the future, I think we're hitting up everything next year. Yeah. yeah. No plans to stop anytime soon. Alright guys, well thanks for your time again, this has been... This is Jen. And Derek. Alright, I'm here with Loki. Brother of Thor and God of Mischief. So, Loki, let me ask you, was it hard to get the power cube back out of Asgard? Uh, this trinket isn't actually valued that much where I come from. And so, I really just stopped by a store and picked one up. Oh, excellent. Do not have these here? Uh, no, we have things that are smaller and less valuable called money. They depreciate over right, time. Right. Well, perhaps uh, once you humans get with the times, uh, you can figure it out how to power, you know, different devices in your own puny world. Yes, we all cower in fear. <laughs> so, uh, when did you decide, decide to start cosplaying? Is your first one? You've been doing it a long time? Uh, I work for a company that did some work on uh, Thor. And, uh, and did some work on Avengers as well. And as, as those movies went on, people kept telling me, hey, you look just like that guy. And I was like, last year I decided to make a Halloween costume, which was the suit from Avengers where Loki comes and, you know, yeah. And um, it went over so well at this very convention last year at Long Beach that I decided to do the Asgardian garb as well. And so I've only really been doing this exactly one year, I suppose. So, uh, getting back to the costume, then, is it your costume or was it provided oh, to you by This the is all commissioned. Uh, if you go to Facebook and you search for Loki Hates You, you'll find my site. I, uh, I give credit to all my, my costumers. I do whole write-ups on each one of them and how great work they do. And uh, I hope you go and check it out. And if you need a costume made, find me. I'll point you at somebody who wants to make it for you. Awesome. All right, man. Well, hey, thank you so much for the interview. We appreciate it. This is Eric again for Psychron.com with Loki. And that was it for Long Beach Comic Con and 
HorrorCon 2013. We talked to cosplayers, we talked to the exhibitors, and we even talked to a few uh, interesting people that didn't do either one. But the point is, we had a good time, and we're glad you're here to enjoy it with us. Thanks. This is Eric for Psychron.com. We'll see you on the web.